The kitchen serves a vital function in the Goddard College campus life. It provides food daily to both campus students and, on occasion, visitors or visiting groups. Each campus student, along with fulfillment of the work program and work-study requirements, is expected to work a minimum of two hours weekly as kitchen assistants, or, if you will, meal team. Meal team has been in existence from the birth of Goddard College, and the students' participation is of quintessential importance to the operation of the college. Each meal team slot, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on weekdays, or brunch and dinner on weekends, consists of three or more students who are expected to work in a tightly knitted professional manner. Our caring and talented kitchen staff is directed and spearheaded by William Pelton. The honor of head chef is bestowed upon Kathleen Dunnott. Before the conclusion of the nine-day all-college meeting that you are now probably fully familiar with, you are expected to enlist for a permanent meal team slot. This is done on a first-come, first-served basis via a sign-up sheet that is posted in the food dispenser runway entrance galley. Once you are committed to these times, you are expected to complete the requirement weekly without further reminder from the kitchen staff. If perchance a conflict arises, you are responsible for finding an adequate replacement. For example, Bobby has a baseball game Tuesday at 1, and that conflicts with his meal team. There he is, asking a fellow student, Kimberly, to cover for him. She happily agrees. Just to be sure, Monday night, Bobby will leave a written message on Kimberly's door saying, remember, 11.30 meal team Tuesday. Your friend, Bobby. One day, when Kimberly needs a meal team replacement, Bobby will cover for her. If any conflicts do arise and not be resolved, you should contact your elected student meal team coordinator who is authorized to mediate such disputes. When first arriving in the kitchen, the meal team participant should greet her or his supervisor in a friendly way. This ensures that the supervisor is aware that you are punctual and if any priorities require your immediate attention. The student is asked to be present 25 to 30 minutes prior to meal serving time. Breakfast 7.30. Lunch 11.30. Dinner, 4.30. Brunch, 9.30. Upon confirmation of your arrival, you will find aprons available to ensure your comfort, convenience, and safety. Usage of the apron is a highly recommended practice. Not only does it protect you, but it also identifies you as a member of the meal team crew should a student need assistance with her or his culinary experience. In compliance with federal health laws, long-haired males and females are required to cover their tresses with the appropriate headgear. Upon sporting the proper attire, the pupil is expected to commence the prepping procedure. This may consist of a number of duties divided between the responsible meal platoon. First, the cutlery and tray trolley must be jockeyed into its functional position. Be sure to check that the individual plastic dispensers are properly equipped with properly corresponding eating utensils as marked on the trolley's main chassis with adhesive tape. Next, appropriate condiments as appropriated by the kitchen staff may be withdrawn from the Glencoe Guardian Cooler Complex located immediately left of the entranceway. Brown sugar, butter, maple syrup, and cream cheese for breakfast, dressings, toppings, and other enhancing delicacies is called for the, by the particular meal for lunch and dinner. The cups and glass trolley must also be jockeyed and finally docked into their appropriate stations. Also, ensure that each trolley rafter is full of the appropriate drinking implements and that they are stain and dust free. Remember, no one likes a tainted beverage. For breakfast and brunch, a meal conjugation member must toast bagels, English muffins, and bread. Also made available should be a diverse selection of cereals. Equally important, the lunch and dinner workers must set up the salad bar and cold vegetables in accordance with the meal. has been completed and you
you have reported your duties performed to your supervisor, then and only then may you join the front of the food line to enjoy first dibs on the bill of fare. This can be highly rewarding as the work required can trigger a hefty appetite. And finally, your hard work has paid off. Mmm, sure looks good, kids. While enjoying your cuisine, eat at a comfortable and leisurely pace, but please, no lollygaggling. because soon this well-earned break will come to an abrupt close and it's back to work for you. This brings us to the dishwashing arena. This area must also be given specific and detailed attention. Make sure the drop shield is secured and bolted in the upright and locked position, therefore giving access to the dishwashing arena.